today's video, I'm gonna be drinking my own sweat. Bogdan, do you think we can build it in one day? It won't be pleasant, but I think we can make it happen. Have you seen dude? I have. There's a piece of technology called a still suit, and it basically takes your body's moisture, recycles it so it's drinkable. Do you think that's something we can do? So a moisture recycler with a filter built in. <laughs> Sounds pretty doable. In the movie and then the books, it like, it recycles everything, you know what I mean? Filter's gone pretty good. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> First thing we need is some kind of suit, you know, keep all the moisture in. I'm gonna be honest, this doesn't look anything like the movie. This is just a prototype. Once this works, we can upgrade it and make it more like the movie. This is just the beginning. So we're gonna make sure that, you know, we can keep moisture inside. If that works out, then we need to basically take that moisture out of the air, condense it, filter it, and let's drink it. This is not feeling right. like I'm the Fremen, you know? This right here is actually a pretty cool piece of tech. It's called a thermoelectric cooler. It's a device that gets really hot on one side and really cold on the other. But what'll happen is we keep this outside the suit to cool itself off, and then this side is going to get cold, hopefully below zero. And we'll start building ice up on here. Oh, okay. Then we basically get clean water. You can see it's getting nice and hot right here. It's turning orange. And the other side, you can see it's turning nice and dark blue. And you start seeing uh, condensation forming on the surface of that. So that's the same way as a dehumidifier works. So let's let this run for a little bit and see if we can uh, get some water out of this. And while that's happening, let's uh, modify this suit. First thing we want to care about is that little fan in the back. But the problem is with the fan constantly blowing air in, we're actually pushing a lot of air out and we're losing a lot of moisture. So we're going to get rid of this fan for the time being. So we got to figure out a way to keep this inflated. We're going to be capturing a lot of the moisture from your mouth. Let's see if we can find you an Nice respirator. The cool thing with respirators is they come with a little check valve. You'll breathe in from the atmosphere, right? and then as you breathe out and you have a lot of that moisture, that'll breathe back into the suit. Kind of like that one. That one's pretty dune like. That breathe out. Ooh, oh, yeah. dusty. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, oh, so okay, take a look at this. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Taste it. Should be pretty clean. It's just humidity. Aerate it. Warm it up. What I'm wondering here, there's not really a filter. We'll get that figured out a little bit later. You just need this on the inside of your suit and then recirculate the air through it and therefore infinite water. Let's get this hose attached. Warm this up a little bit. I'm gonna stretch it right over. Oh, there we go. The other side, we wanna be breathing right over that thermoelectric cooler. We wanna basically have that somewhere there so as you're exhaling, it's actually blowing right across and capturing that moisture. How are we capturing the liquid? For now, it's just gonna cool up on here. But what I'm hoping for is that if we have enough power going through here and we run this for long enough in a moist enough environment and drips down into a container, right? Inside the suit. Inside the suit. I got it, I got it. Well, let's get this attached to here for now, just for the first test. Look at that. So now as you exhaust, all that moisture is gonna be captured right across that PLTA device. Let's figure out some of the electronics here, right? So we've got this exhaust fan on the outside. We're gonna go find a nice battery that's gonna be able to fit in your backpack. We're gonna get wire, solder, and heat all at the same time. Let's use some heat shrink. Cut it down to length, slide this over this, and then just use a mini saber. I haven't really been paying attention to what's been happening behind me today, and I'm getting worried. What makes you worried? Generally alarmed by breathing in things that we have worked on. People sweat a lot from their palms, so we really want to make sure we're keeping that in the suit. It's getting nice and cold. I'm feeling the humidity start building up already. My palms are sweaty. Knees weak, arms are heavy. Did the battery get hot or anything? No. If it does, you should leave the suit. Leave the suit. So how am I supposed to drink this moisture? This is going to drip into the water bladder. We'll have a filter in line that you can just, uh, you know, install inside of the actual respirator and you can just sip from. Yeah, you, you look exactly the same. That's me. Let's see if that dehumidifier actually collected any moisture. Yeah. You see that moisture there? So good and tasty. It's water, but there like it go. doesn't there taste you, you, great. You heard it here yourself. <laughs> Let, let's go uh, get you a uh, water bladder so you can collect it and uh, drink it safely. What, that wasn't safe? <laughs> we are gonna go over to the sale just across the street and we're gonna pick up a water bladder with an integrated filter. Well, that looks pretty doom like. Uh, we've got our water bladder and then we're gonna grab one of these inline filters to attach onto our line so we can drink straight from the bladder. All right, let's go attach this to Daryl. Here we got this little backpack so I'll be able to, you know, attach all the stuff, the batteries and whatnot to it. And then this opens up and then in here we have our two liter water bladder and we've attached an inline filter to it. Yep. So that all the moisture that collects in here you'll be able to safely drink. Oh good. Let's throw some water in there. I'm gonna drink some non-sweat water. Yeah, it tastes like it needs to be washed, but. <laughs> we create a little aluminum brace that goes inside of there. And it's going to hold our, uh, our water pouch. Maybe even like a piece of PVC tube or something that just shoves in there. Oh, 
it'll be perfect. Cut off the top at an angle, cut off the bottom near the bottom of our tube, and then mount our condenser unit right up here. First things first, I think I'm gonna probably just cut this. Logan, there's nothing stopping us putting the suit on someone else and then someone else taking the hose. You can drink oh, my sweat. I can drink your sweat. If you want to be gross like that. I think, yeah, some zip ties initially right on there would be pretty good. Yeah, check that out. So that's going to go in, in there, and then you can see the lowest point of that entire area is going to be our condenser. That'll be able to drip down and collect water in there. Let's do a quick test fit. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. And then let me go grab your battery while you put that on. Still tastes like plastic. <laughs> Feel like you're in Dune? Do I look like I'm in Dune? Like that backpack situation? Fluids are entering it right now. <laughs> you cool? No, no, not Just right now. Just sweat, right? Just sweat. Okay. Everyone thinks I'm drinking my own pee. In the gym? For the gym. Now I gotta get Daryl sweaty. Fan's going, the dehumidifier is working. You got lots of moisture in your breath. Got lots of moisture in your body. Let's get some of that out. All right, Daryl? Let's go. We're gonna get you some gloves. Perfect. I've never boxed in my life. Holy smokes, I'm no joke. I'm here doing a couple of just like little hops back and forth. Leave you hanging like clothes. There you go. Hi, Arn. Ice cold frozen. You're just spilling water. There's water coming out of the top. Precious moisture. Let's just stop. Keep going. Come on, Daryl. Come on, I want to see you sweat. I've been boxed in my entire life. It's way harder than it looks. It's completely deflated, but it's fine. It's That's fine. fine. <laughs> you want to open it up and see if, uh, if we're getting any drips of moisture in there? Yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, look at that condensation. You can actually see a little drip right there. You see a drip? Good tonight. Are you ready? Do it, Daryl. Oh, that's really warm. <laughs> <laughs> Right now I'm so thirsty that I'm like actually wanting to drink it. Not realizing it that it's my own body moisture. <laughs> like this is great and all, but just look at me. This isn't the vibe. This suit is great and all, and it's a great proof of concept, but I think about something a little bit better that's going to conform to your body a little bit more and allow you to wear some extra insulation on top, which will get you sweatier faster. So this is a clean room bunny suit. Tyvek suit, which is completely, you know, dust tight and fairly airtight. It's got a full hat for your, your head so you can trap your uh, forehead moisture. And it's got full covers for the bottom of the boots as well. This still doesn't look like a still suit. Which is where this comes in. I've gone ahead and purchased a full Dune Damn. costume of a still suit. In addition to this looking way more like the real still suit, yeah. this is also gonna provide extra insulation to keep you warmer and therefore keep the system running even more efficiently. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. To make sure that you can actually fit inside of here while wearing the bunny suit, we gotta modify the backpack a little bit, make it a little more splash resistant, add the hose so that you can drink directly without taking off your respirator and losing moisture, and then we'll get you fitted and do another test. Oh, dune shoes! What do I do with like a shot glass of your sweat? We bottled that and we sell it on Hacksmith's store. We want these, this aluminum piece on the outside of the suit, but everything else on the inside. Sure. Um, and then the, thing, the other thing we want to do is... Um... I think we want to install this into here. Yeah. That way you can basically sweat and drink at the same time. Got a nice hole there. It worked perfectly. It's just like, it felt just very forceful. <laughs> I'll just be sucking on that. That's what she said. Don't you dare. <sighs> Gross. So wait, yeah. you already drank that? Yes. <laughs> We're gonna improve the mounting on this a little bit. Broken, man. Oh yeah. No, 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 this is, this is fine. Awesome. Okay, we should still probably fix that though. So this is now a lot more secure. Yep. That goes into your sweat pile. Yeah, so I want to get a skirt around here that's going to go around the Tyvek suit. So this will prevent a lot of that splashing that we saw earlier. <laughs> You're spilling water. There's water coming out of the top. Can we plug this in now? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, it's condensing. Oops. 
gonna cut a hole. Oh, that's tight. How does that feel, Daryl? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Oh, did that's you break it again? Popped up. Popped up. <laughs> Hey, this might be a great time uh, to tell the YouTube audience about all the member perks that are available to them. They get to join our Discord server and talk to some of us. They get a discount on the store. Members only content. Members only content. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> In order for the uh, dehumidifier to work well, this fan needs to be able to get hot and then expel heat. This fan's been running, so even as he's getting dressed, as he's sweating right now and breathing to that mask, we're collecting his sweat. Look at that. Perfect, okay, and then this goes over your head. That's the battery dying. I don't think there's any easy way to get to that, is there? Charles, we're probably gonna kill a forest battery. Everything's under the Tyvek right now. I spent the last hour suiting him up, and now the battery's low. While Bogdan changes my batteries, I'm gonna see how many Dune references I can make in this ad read, and will the sponsor still approve it? Are you worried about the increasing number of data breaches worldwide? You're not alone. Just as the characters in Dune navigate the treacherous sands of Arrakis, we too face the wasteland of the wide open internet. Just as the royal houses in Dune vie for control over the valuable spice, companies and hackers seek to exploit our data, aka internet spice. spice. We have the right to protect our privacy. Just like the Fremen have the right to protect and control spice production, introducing Incogni. Automated data protection service that acts as your protective shield in the digital desert. Getting started is easy. Simply create an account using our link in the description. Incogni reaches out to data brokers on your behalf, requests your personal data removal, and deals with any objections from their side. They found my data where I totally didn't want it to be. I don't remember giving Harkonnens my info. With Incogni, your personal information stays off the market and you can browse the internet with peace of mind. Just as the Fremen guard the secrets of the spice, Incogni guards your data. Use code Hacksmith at the link below to get an exclusive 60% off an annual Incogni plan spice. Let's go show some people. Who do you want to show first? Oh, really? Hey guys, showing off her newest, most insane creation yet. The still suit. Insane is right. Like, oh, wow. most insane project. Ugh. He looks like he's thriving. You, you want Ooh, it smells like the dunes in here. Dude, that's so gross. So the water is technically vapor distilled and goes through a four stage filter. This water is actually probably cleaner than most of your tap water. Okay, weird flex, but okay. <laughs> We're gonna show you our newest and fanciest invention yet. Yeah, I'm looking at it right there and it's uh... Do you have any more? Oh. oh. But is there any way to share? Or is like, it strictly it's, goes... It's just going in here. Okay. Yeah, yeah we can put like a Y splitter in here so you can <laughs> have some. <laughs> our very own still suit. How's it taste? Warm. 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 How does it taste? Warm. Does it taste anything? No, it's just like water. Oh. <laughs> yeah. This is a viable product? And where does he pee? You can just pee into the Tyvek suit. The Tyvek suit is watertight, okay. so it'll pull up at his feet, and then, the, then oh, the, you know, as he's now. walking around... Or it'll reabsorb it, that every, part, right? Yeah. I present to you the Dune Still Suit. How does it taste? Warm. Yeah, it would be warm. I feel great about it. For the test, I think we put him in the sauna. All right, make him sweat. All right, Daryl, enjoy your sweat time. To get the hot sauna a little hotter, you know. We simulate the desert. Just set this to max. Throw one over here. There we go, the heater's going. I can feel it, it's getting hot. It's hot, that's 28. Oh, that's hot. That's a lot of heat. This one is getting hot, this one is hot. While, while, while he's freaking out, let's figure out what temperature Arrakis is. In desert Arrakis, temperatures have reached 70 degrees Celsius or more. It's gotta get about twice as hot. <laughs> 70 degrees or more. Oh, shit. Do some jumping jacks. Doing some curls. Oh, you want, you want some weights? Oh, uh, yeah. I'll get you some weights. Yeah, pretend you're fighting a giant sandworm. You're halfway up to arachnus temperature. Once we get, it gets really hot in here, we're gonna have to get me out of this suit pretty quick. I don't think we should get super hot because the lithium polymer batteries are not gonna like high temperatures. Oh, what Do you have enough to drink? No? I ain't gonna work out my in a little bit, I'm sunshine with the punchlines. I take jabs at 5 0, throw up a cut at the one time. I talk shit and back it up, but most times I stay. Whoever's in the gonna wait What did you do? <laughs> You're spilling precious water, Daryl! You're spilling precious water! It's the go get a Mr. Asserter, Mr. Anish. You're fighting a giant Mr. Sandwich. Results, man. I'm all about my business, kid. Damn, I mean, need I say more? I mean, what more can I say? You know the play. Uh. The actual bladder needs to have at least like this much water in it for the suction tube actually like takes it up. There's a bit of a, of a time when the whole thing starts filling. 
when he's got no water. Here, let's, let's just pretend that this is at 60. It's 60 in here. You're on this side of it. It's 60. <laughs> Sixty-six! It's not actually sixty in there. Alright, Martin. Thank you so much. I have no clue what you're saying. Thank you so much for yeah. making my uh, dreams come true. Anytime, is... Daryl. Anytime you want to drink your own sweat, you know who to come to. It was incredible. <laughs> this was actually so much fun. Not gonna lie, yeah. like what a blast today was. On a scale of one to ten, what's drinking your sweat like? Expecting a three. I would give it a solid six. It's warm, which sucks, but it doesn't taste that bad. So that's the rest of the points right there. The fact that it's drinkable, that's good. You wanna try? No. I'm perfectly all right. It's real moist in this mask. I believe you. <laughs> Leave a comment, a like, subscribe. And if you want to see more Dune projects, well, you're in luck. James popped in and out of this video because he's working on his own Dune gadgets with Ian. So keep an eye out for that video coming soon. It was a pleasure. Thank you, Daryl. Oh, I'm gonna get out of this, I'm real hot. Oh, God. Oh, look at my hands. They're all wrinkly.